Hi guys, this is Terry. So this is the first time that I'm making a video based on a YouTube uh, viewer request. So in one of my YouTube videos, uh, one of the viewers asked if I can do a review about the EV Trip Planner and the EV Trip Optimizer and other EV Trip planning services. So if you open Google and uh, do Tesla Trip Planner. So the first one that's going to come out will be the EV Trip Planner. Let's go in there. So this entire user interface is not the prettiest, but it's very intuitive. That's what I really like about it. It's very easy to find the car that you want. Uh, like you should select from here. It doesn't have my car. That's one downside of it. I only have for Model X, I only have P9DD. So what I'm gonna do is that P9DD is gonna do uh, initial charge, putting at 80%. So uh, 9DD times 0.8 is 72. That should be uh, conservative enough. And um, you're gonna select the starting point. I'm doing a road trip from Irvine to San Diego Zoo on Memorial Day weekend. So. I'm going to do Irvine and San Diego Zoo. And uh, there's a speed multiplier basically. Uh, I typically drive like 75 or 72 on the uh, freeway with 65 uh, MPH speed limit. So to be conservative, let's put 1.2 here. Uh, that's the uh, ratio of your typical driving speed against the uh, average uh, of the road. And you have cabin temperature, external temperature, payload. I'm driving with my wife and kids and some luggage, so let's say 500 uh, pounds. Wind, I'm not considering that. It's not really, uh, we don't have strong winds here. So let's say route direct. Okay, so it gives you a list of information down here. So basically you can see that it says uh, distance 87 miles, driving time a little over an hour, um, causing almost 30 kilowatt hour energy, and um, it's driving at 340 watts per mile. Net elevation change is 253 feet. Okay, so if I do run trip, I'm just gonna do add Irvine here. You see that it has double, it was like 85, 87 something previously. Now it's 171, it's doubled, time doubled, the energy doubled. I'm using almost 60 kilowatt hour of energy, and uh, the net elevation change, change to zero feet. So I can still make it. So, one thing that I really like about this is that you can easily change your route let's say um, uh, let's say if I know in the morning uh, 5 will be really congested and I want to use uh, the tow road instead for this part so I can just drag it here it's gonna be taking the route here so it's very easy to change uh, the route you can see that it adds a destination here basically that's a via point and the distance and everything will be updated with that so that's really nice and um, it will also give you a s detailed steps on how to go here it's pretty nice so this uh, website was done by a Stanford student called Ben so I want to express my thank you so much appreciation to him. Thank you, Ben. It's a really nice website, and thank you. Um, uh, so we're done with the EV Trip Planner review here. Let's try something else. So I saw there is an EV Tripping website, um, which has much, which is a much nicer look, and um, that's the kind of website you want to look for when you are doing a Tesla road trip. The other one, the EV Trip Planner, has all this um, 
a little bit nerdy engineer uh, way of look uh, but this one is kind of like oh we're using a real website pretty uh, fits the impression people have for Tesla cars and Tesla trips but I don't really like it so first thing I don't like is that uh, for EV tripping you cannot do anything like route planning without logging in or creating the account okay you so you have to log in uh, I wouldn't have created this account if I am not doing the video because you're sharing information right but for the sake of the video I'm doing this and um, you see the map here this has a big map but everything is hidden here so uh, let me remove them and show you step by step. Okay, so you do these waypoints. You start with Irvine. And add the uh, destination at San Diego. San Diego Zoo. And you put calculate route. Uh, so you see the time consumed here, uh, the m mileage you have left at the end. It doesn't give you the energy you have left. It gives you the mileage you have left. It's a kind of okay. And you can set your departure time and uh, arrival time. Uh, the reason you're gonna do that is I think it's gonna pick up the weather information so that you don't have to put in the wind speed and stuff like that also it will have the um, outside temperature information for you as well so that's okay um, and um, something else I don't like it you cannot drag and change the route you cannot even scroll up and down for the mouse to zoom in or zoom out you cannot drag it so uh, it's not so easy to use and it took me 10 minutes to find out how to uh, set up the car because you know in EV trip planner there is a drop down menu right here you just select the one you want for EV tripping you have to go to your account preferences car preferences and select the one uh, but the good thing about that one is that it has more Model X elections. You only have Teslas, as you can see. Uh, you also have Tesla Model 3. I don't know how they do that. It must be a better planning uh, algorithm. But for the EV trip planner, it also has Nissan Leaf at the end. So, yeah. Um, so, yeah, that's it. Uh, uh, that's the review for EV tripping. Uh, in short, it's not as easy to use as EV Trip Planner. I would use EV Trip Planner um, in most cases. Um, yeah. So something else, there is something called EVJourney.com. I thought it was uh, a route planner and stuff, but no, it's not. It's just like a map of the uh, charging stations if you're looking for a charging station you can use this website but if you're planning a road trip I would say this website will not provide you with much help okay so that uh, I'm done with the websites and there is the last uh, option that I'm gonna review that is the EV trip optimizer app on the phone okay okay so the last one is this EV trip optimizer app that I'm looking at and um, uh, the app seems okay so first you want to add the cars you're gonna go to my cars I name it Falcon 9 as my car and uh, got a Model X here and select what you need 75k dual model and save okay so you need to plan a trip 
new chip let's see no charger and menu so okay so it gave me the trip and uh, uh, at the consumption you can see the energy consumption and uh, as I see you're gonna see the chart okay so I've been curious about there was a uh, optimized segment see what's gonna do I don't see any change anything no I don't think there's any change uh, in short this app seems okay it's still a little bit buggy uh, I have encountered quite a few problems previously when I was trying this app like this map does not refresh I cannot do uh, and create a new trip so what I don't like is that I still cannot um, drag or create um, I mean it can it would be nice if you can just press on it and create um, a point that would be the best it would be the best if you can just press it and create a vibe point but no it doesn't work it just uh, show you the route okay it will still do the work um, and I'm surprised that they don't have a website version of it. They only have the app. Because not many people would do both. Uh, maybe they should consider that as well. Because most people will do their planning before they go. So it's uh, probably a good idea to have the website as well. Okay. I still love EV Trip Planner the best because simply because I can drag and change the routes. Anyway, I'm going to continue to try with this app. And I'm going to try to see what this uh, optimized segment works. If it does give anything valuable, I'm going to make another video about it. Okay? Thanks, guys. Hi, guys. Thanks for watching. If you like our videos, please click subscribe. Check out other Tesla related videos here. Thanks again for watching. Bye.